You're three months into your first dev job. You're grinding, learning, staying late, doing everything right. But somehow, you keep screwing up. Your code gets rejected in reviews. Your estimates are always wrong. Your senior dev keeps giving you that look, like, ain't nobody got time to help you. But here's the thing. Most junior dev mistakes aren't actually your fault. They're the result of an industry that throws you in the deep end, gives you zero guidance, and then acts shocked when you drown. So let's talk about the five most common mistakes every junior makes, and why the system set you up to make them. Mistake number one. Not asking for help when you're stuck. You spend three whole days stuck on a database issue. You Google everything, try 17 different Stack Overflow solutions from 2015. You tell yourself, I don't want to bother anyone. But your senior gets frustrated when they find out you've been stressing for days on something they could have solved in five minutes. Meanwhile, you've been gooning and probably broken three other things. The real issue? Nobody taught you the timing. Ask too early and you're not trying hard enough. Ask too late and you're wasting time. You can't win. Mistake number two, over-engineering simple solutions. Your task, add a save button. Your solution, a 12-class architecture with interfaces and enough design patterns to make enterprise Java developers weep. You spend two weeks building what should have been 20 lines of code. Why? Because every tutorial preaches clean code without teaching you when not to use it. But most professional code is held together with duct tape. Your senior will refactor your beautiful architecture into 50 lines of straightforward code because it actually works. Sometimes boring code is best code. Mistake number three, trusting hyped AI tools. Most of the time, you hand a task to an AI and it makes spaghetti code. Kimmy is different. It's an honest AI that's not overhyped yet. So compute power actually serves real users. It outperforms GPT on coding. What I love is their agent mode, OK Computer named after the Radiohead album. Very programmer. Kimmy thinks like that strict PM you secretly respect, it plans, researches, designs, then delivers the full package. You get organized assets and a complete interactive front end ready for VS code. Production ready code that you can hand to your boss like, yeah, I built that, need to pitch it? Kimmy's got slides too, because it's not just what you built, it's how you sell it. Try it out for free, link below. Mistake number four, writing unmaintainable code. You write code that works perfectly when you submit it. But three months later, it's completely incomprehensible. Variables named temp and data2. Functions that do 67 different things. Logic so twisted that even you can't figure out what you were thinking. Nobody taught you that code is communication. You think code is instructions for the computer, but it's actually instructions for the next developer. And that's usually future you who will have forgotten everything. You're focused on making it work instead of making it clear. But there's no time for clarity when you're just trying to survive. And mistake number five, taking code review feedback personally. You submit your first pull request, you're proud of it, it works, it's clean. Then the code review comes back with 17 comments. This should be a method. Extract this constant. Why didn't you use the existing utility? You read each comment as who even hired this gooner. But code reviews are just senior developers nitpicking because they've forgotten what it's like to be new applying standards that exist nowhere in the existing code base. Your code works fine, they're just grumpy and call it feedback. I once had one say, dress better, as a comment for my pull request. So here's the truth. If you're making these mistakes, you're normal. They're the normal result of an industry that has no idea how to onboard juniors properly. The real mistake isn't anything you're doing. It's expecting to succeed when everyone wants you to fail. Stop beating yourself up for being human in an inhumane process. Every senior developer made these exact same mistakes. They just survived long enough to forget how brutal it was. Thanks for watching, and remember I'm your personal senior dev who won't hold back, so subscribe.